glamour. Jane and I are on a pre-pregnancy cleanse. No meat, no sugar, no booze. I like to keep a tidy uterus. She does. Look, Alex, honey, just calm down. Okay. Have some water. Ah, uh, mm, thank you. <coughs> what the hell? This is all vodka. What? <laughs> Waiter. Jane, you're drinking? No, you're drinking. Night of a thousand comebacks. What about our cleanse? I've had pure evil coming out of both ends of my body for three weeks, and you're drinking bot. So? They loved me. Knew they would. I mean, I'm not surprised. I was funny, warm, affectionate. That's great, babe. How affectionate? Oh, well, you know, we held hands, some light nuzzling, kissed once or twice. You kissed Max? Well, I had to sell it. I mean, I was on a fire. I mean, I worked in some Yiddish, a little golf was talk. Was there tongue? <laughs> Why are you being so weird about this? He's gay. Is he now? Seems convenient. Is this really bothering you? No, I'm not really jealous. <laughs> I know I'm your only boo boo. <laughs> oh. Hey, boo. It's Max. So? You nailed it. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. I'm parent heroin. They have got a Jane addiction and it's bad. I'm talking shaking out a bus stop, willing to do downstairs stuff for a nickel bag of me, bad. <laughs> They're leaving early. God, I was so looking forward to hanging out with them. <sighs> no, feels dirty now. How could they not like me? Well, I like you and that's all that matters. I know what happened. Here we go. I tried too hard, probably came off a little needy. I should go over there and show them easy breezy Jane. There's an easy breezy Jane? <laughs> should I wear pearls? Don't do this. You're right, you're right, no pearls, keep it simple. <sighs> Babe, you did your job, his parents think he's straight. Don't go over there, it's not about you. You're right. It's not about me. Now let's go upstairs. Why don't you lose all of that? <laughs> and let's make it all about you. Okay. <laughs> all about me. What time is it? Six o'clock. Damn it! Jane, don't do that! Oh, oh. This experience made me realize that I need to live a little. Sure do. Maybe not quite this much. Absolutely. <laughs> it also made me realize I need to say I love you to my son. Aww. Yes. Shucks. I'm gonna leave you too. That should hold it for a while. So I got my resume all laminated and updated for the big interview. <laughs> this is my resume. Couple of jokes, couple of, you been hit the P90X? Then when he doesn't know what the P90X is, I'm like, bro, you gotta hit the P90X now. And just some dude stuff, then I get the job. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you tell the difference between all four of these beans? Cause they could not be more different. They are all coffee. So in that sense, they could be more different. <laughs> That's the job right there. <laughs> Who would you hire? Oh, I don't care. So just let me know when it's time to smell the beans. And there is a blindfold you were talking about. You look. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. Maybe you two aren't right for this company. I understand where you're coming from, but riddle me this. Uh, how do you like your coffee, huh? Hot. A little sticky. I'm sticky? Really? Miss Preparation? Playing the sex card? The group interview? Also, I'm gay. Ooh. I love everything about you. Even that scary little face you make when you sneeze. I do not you, make a scary face you when you sneeze. Oh, You're the really? only person I know who sneezes with their eyes open. You're like, I can't! I <laughs> Riddle me this. If I'm so sure show, how come the real sure show just asked me to officiate his wedding? Boom. Stank it. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to apply for my minister's license. You mean renew your license because you officiated our wedding. You did have your license when you married us, right? Funny story, no. <gasps> What's happening with her face? <laughs> ah, she's beautiful minding it. You just gotta let it play itself out. Brad, you know what this means, right? We get to have honeymoon sex again, and I get to put my car keys in your attic. We get to get married again. No, no, technically, I think you guys are still married. Yeah, but now we get to have the perfect wedding that I always wanted. But our wedding was perfect. Yeah, to everyone but us. We didn't get the prime rib we wanted because your lesbian vegan aunt adopts cows. And what about your two-year-old niece that your sister begged to be our flower girl and swore was potty trained? Rose petals were not the only thing she dropped in that aisle. It wasn't that bad. Poops, Brad. Madison pooped on our wedding. Speaking of library books, what is the deal with library finds, huh? I'd rather have Ray finds. Right, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <clears throat> All right, 
right, next up we have